Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics and today we have a really interesting exponential equation x to the power x equal to 2 to the power 2048. And a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, right here 2048's power, it's really hard to solve this challenge, how is it possible? Take a look closely, let's rewrite our challenge right here, so what do we have? x to the power x equal to 2 to the power 2048. So here's our challenge. And it's really obviously right here our expression on the left hand side we have x to the power x, but what about right hand side? Let's look closely to this expression. So what do we have right here? What do we have right here? We have 2 to the power 2048. Right now let's rewrite this power 2048 as 2 times 1024. Okay, so we have 2 to the power 2 times 1024. 24. So let's write this in this way. Okay, let's write it as a product. Okay, equal to. What we're going to do next? We need to know a really great rule, all known rule, all known formula. A to the power x, for example, raised to the power y. If we raise this, we can also write it as a to the power x times y. And right now, let's look closely. This is our formula, and this is our exactly our case that we have right now. What do we have right here? We have a product x times y, and we have 2 times 1024. So we can bring these two inside parentheses. We can write this x, and our in our case, x equal to 2. So we can write it as a power of 2. Okay, so let's do this. So we have right here 2 to the power 2, and raise to the power 1024. Okay, I hope you understand this step. This is really great trick right now, because if you go, for example, further, we can easily multiply 2 times 1024 according to this rule, and we have the same thing as before, so nothing changed for us. But 2 square equal to 4, so let's write it. So we have 4 to the power 1024, okay? Okay, right now let's do the same step once more. So we have 4 to the power 1024, let's write as 2 times 512, and let's do the same step once more. Let's bring this to as a power of this 4. So we have right here 4 square raised to the power 500 and 512. Okay, which is equal to, which is equal to 4 square equal to 16, yeah, 16, and raised to the power 512, 512. Right now let's do the step once more. Once more, we can do this once more. So what do we have right here? 16 to the power 2 times 256, which is equal to the same stuff once more. So let's bring this to as power of this 16. So we have right here 16 to the power second, all raised to the power 256. And right now, really great moment, because 16 square equal to 256, raised to the power 256. Okay, and right now, where here we have all the time equal sign. So this is equal to 2 to the power 2048. So we can easily change this expression by this one. We have all the time equal sign, so it's absolutely the same thing. So we have right here x to the power x equal to 256 to the power 256. Okay, here's our challenge right now. And let's look closely. Same base, same exponent. Right here, same base, same exponent. This is really great. So it implied that all uh, one and only way that this equation has roots when and the base equal to base and exponent equal to exponent because we have uh, same base and same exponent on the left side and same and same base and same exponent on the right side. So it implied that x equal to 256. A quick challenge today. I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learn something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I hope you, you can easily solve this challenge because this is a really great challenge to practice our, our knowledge, our power rules right here. So I suggest you to put, like pause the video or watch this video once more, but before you need to solve this challenge uh, by yourself. Try to solve this challenge by yourself and you will practice your power rules a lot because this is a very great challenge to practice our power rules. So here's my explanation to this challenge. I hope you learned something new. I hope you understand my explanation, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Also write your question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. And thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos and thank you for your support.